What's up, fams? We got to talk about this. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that sub button and shout out to my gang, gang, gang. Now, why be in say it ain't so? Now, for the people that don't know what's going on, man, uh, YB and Almighty J, he was telling people, like, yo, man, this is the comeback of YBN. This is the comeback. Now, this can't be the comeback right here because YB and Almighty J then got robbed again, y'all. Again, man. Now, you guys remember the first time it happened, right? They took his chain. He started laughing the whole thing off trolling. Yo, yo, man, that chain didn't even cost nothing. I'm going to buy an even bigger chain. I'm going to buy a better chain. Remember, after he got robbed the first time, he bought another chain. And I said to you guys, I said, look, man, if this dude get robbed for his chain a second time, he can't wear no more chains, man. Well, he was robbed last night. He was beat upside his head, kicked in his butt. They had him running down the street. You guys watch this, man. Now, the full video is going to be over my Instagram. The link is going to be in the description below. There's only so much that I can show with it being graphic and YouTube having their guidelines. Listen, they don't want this type of content on YouTube, man. But watch this right here. Mm, look, look, look. Run, what's up? That's the YBN, nigga? Take his chain. Take his chain. That's the YBN, nigga. That's the now here's the crazy thing because Mo was before, right? He was showing off all his jewelry, talking about he was bling blowing, uh, he was flexing, right? All on the gram. And hours later, they were taking them chains. Now, there's more video. The video doesn't stop there because they had YBN Almighty J run into the goddamn street with no shoes on. Homie was running down the street with his socks on. You guys watch this, man. Niggas be pussy, YBA. You pussy, nigga, on my mother, nigga. Don't ever try to pull up on the you know, fucking elevator, nigga. You drunk? Nigga, everything for bitch. Now, breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. Now, this is breaking news game because I made my original video at 3 o'clock in the morning. That's the dedication I got for y'all, man. Now, at 11 a.m., there's more information coming out on this story. And the breaking news is that early in the day, right, right before YBN Almighty J got jumped, he was out with him and his boys, the YBNs, right? They having a good old time shopping in New York or whatnot, right? Now, a rapper by the name of Little TJ, he's from New York. He's bubbling right now. He's popping. Him and his goons, they pull up. Now, somehow, there appears to be a scuffle between both of these groups, right? Now, Almighty J was holding his own in this situation. He had people with him somewhere, somehow. It appears after this scuffle happens, late at night, YB and Almighty J was caught alone, or maybe he was caught with few people than what TJ and his people had, and he got jumped. They kicked him in the face, took his chance, but him getting jumped is a after situation of what happened in the first situation. That's the breaking news that I got for you guys. Doesn't look like he was always alone, but it looked like he got caught slipping later in the night. That put some stuff in perspective. You guys watch the end of this video. This is my thoughts in this whole situation. Watch this whole thing fully. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't understand this stuff, gang. I don't understand it. And, like, you know, some of the stuff I come to you guys and I say, y'all be like, yo, man, dumb. You think you tough. You think you tough. Man, some of this stuff just seems like common sense to me, man. Because, like, I, I don't understand how all these rappers are getting robbed like this, man. Now, I live in Texas. And when I tell you that it's always on me, it's always on me. When I go to take the damn trash out, the FN is on me. So seeing why being almighty J get robbed once, get robbed twice, talking all that talk about pulling out the damn sticks and the closest thing to gun some of these rappers got his PlayStation 4 controllers. Like, this, this is crazy. I'm like, in my head, I'm saying, where's your friends, right? Call for backup. Why are you by yourself? Like, this type of stuff doesn't make sense to me, man. If you don't have it on you, get some kind of security, man. Now, at this point, 
I don't think any rapper out there should be ridiculed for them having security. I'm not telling anyone to go out there and get a goddamn football team like 6ix9ine had, right? When he was claiming that he was the most gangster, gangster in the world, and he had the damn Jaguars walking him down the street. I'm not saying get that. Now, I'm saying get you some type of security. And as long as you're not running your mouth, claiming you the biggest gangster in the world, no one is going to look at you sideways when you got armed security with you because this is a almighty L. This looks horrible. Running down the goddamn street like you have lost the school bus. This is crazy. Like this type of stuff can't be happening. Like, and, and I keep seeing this type of stuff. I'm going to say these guys for jumping almighty J, they don't get any brownie points. You jumped him. Let's see you do that one-on-one, -on -one, right? Let's see you do that type of stuff one-on-one. -on -one, you know what I mean? Like, listen, it, it, it's, it's looking crazy with him running down the damn street. Like his mama said, he better be home by six. But you get no points for jumping the dude, man. You guys let me know what's in the comment section below. Make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram. The full video on my Instagram, man. This is crazy, y'all.